Hello and welcome back to another Gutter Fighting Secrets Foreign Political Organization Briefing. In today's FPO, what we're going to be taking a look at is the group known as Hamas. Hamas was established in 1987 and has its origin in Egypt's Muslim Brotherhood movement, which had been active in the Gaza Strip since 1950s. It gained influence through a network of mosques and various charitable and social organizations. Hamas gained a foothold during the First Intifada, the first popular uprising by Palestinian people against Israeli occupation, settlement, and exploration of traditionally Palestinian lands. Mission statement of Hamas is multifaceted with a short-term goal being to liberate the Palestinian people and Palestinian lands from Israel. And the long-term strategy is sought to establish an Islamic state from the Jordan River to the Mediterranean Sea. Hamas does not recognize Israel as a nation and is openly hostile towards the Israeli government and people. Religious affiliation, Sunni fundamentalism, Arabic to English translation is courage or zeal. Hamas is an acronym of Harikat al muqama al islamiyah or Islamic Resistance Movement. Hamas has two wings to it. It's got a militant wing, al Qassam Brigades, they aim to liberate all of Palestine from what they describe as Zionist occupation and achieve the rights of the Palestinian people that were robbed by occupation and it considers itself part of the movement of a project of national liberation. This military wing or Qassam Brigades, this military wing particularly during the first and second intifadas launched a series of attacks against Israeli soldiers and civilians um, often being described as retaliatory for assassinations of the upper echelons of their leadership. Tactics have included suicide bombings, rocket attacks, kidnappings, assassinations, and various manifestations of terrorism and guerrilla warfare. Hamas's rocket arsenal mainly consists of short-range homemade Qassam rockets. However, it does also include longer-range rockets capable of reaching cities such as Tel Aviv and Haifa. Other airborne weapons that we have seen used is fire balloons or incendiary balloons. Uh, these incendiary balloons are typically inflated with a lighter than air gas and armed with some type of incendiary device such as a Molotov cocktail. In recent years we have seen Hamas turn to tactics uh, such as creating natural fires or forest fires. Another very common practice that we see in the West Bank is lighting tires on fire simply to let all the smoke blow into the Israeli side of settlements. Obviously the goal here is simply to annoy and harass. Other assets that we've seen Hamas use would be mortars and small arms. Hamas's Qassam brigades which would include internal security forces, intelligence services, and things like this is estimated to be about 30,000 operatives of varying degrees of skill and professionalism. Hamas also has a social services wing. This wing was developed as a social welfare program replicating a model that had been set forth by Egypt's Muslim Brotherhood. This social services wing is known as the Wa, and it prescribes a way of living based on Sharia law, charity and development of one's community are paramount, proselytizing and charitable works or zakat are both fundamental Islamic traditions. This zakat or charity is supposedly, allegedly used for services like nurseries, schools, orphanages, soup kitchens, women's activities, library services, sporting clubs, kind of with a larger context of preaching and political discussions. As long as these political discussions and this preaching falls within the realms of what Hamas would like to be preached. Many have criticized Hamas for diverting these funds for military activities and other activities. However, I personally don't have enough resources or information to comment if that is credible or not. Hamas's main area of operation is the Gaza Strip. The Gaza Strip, or simply Gaza, is a self-governing Palestinian territory on the eastern coast of the Mediterranean Sea that borders Egypt. Now it should be noted here that the territories of Gaza and the West Bank are separated from each other by Israeli territory. Both fell under the jurisdiction, however, of the Palestinian Authority, with Gaza being ruled largely by Hamas. 
and the West Bank largely being ruled by Fatah. And we will be doing a separate FPO on Fatah, but that is for a different briefing. Funding for this organization, according to Mohammed Abbas, president of the Palestinian National Authority, comes from private donations. However, according to his words, however, these donations are nothing like they receive from Iran. Aid to Hamas increased after Arafat's death in 2004 and Israel's withdrawal from Gaza in 2005. It should be noted, however, that in 2009, after sanctions on Iran, this did make it more difficult for funding to come in from these channels. It is reported, however, that funds amounting in the tens of millions of dollars raised in the Gulf states were transferred through the Rafah border crossing. Allegations have surfaced in the past of Israel funding Hamas. However, it should be noted that Israel simply allows certain funds from <clears throat> states like Qatar to go into Hamas-controlled Gaza because, quote, we know where these funds are going and they are going to humanitarian aid and not to purchase weapons. Past combat actions have included the Gaza conflicts as well as the first and second intifadas. Boss operates a television channel, Al-Aqsa TV. This channel was founded by Hamas. The station began broadcasting in the Gaza Strip January 2006. This programming includes ideologically based children's TV shows, news talks, and religiously inspired entertainment. Hamas and some of its affiliated charitable organizations have officially been classified as terrorist organizations by countries such as Israel, the United States, Canada, and the European Union. Known alliances of Hamas include Turkey, Iran, the Lebanese organization Hezbollah, and to a lesser degree Russia and China. Known opposition to Hamas include Fatah, the United States, Israel, the European Union, Canada, and Australia. The most recent activities of this organization include August 7, 2020, Israel attacks Hamas targets in Gaza, so it does look like we are going to see an escalation between the two parties coming into the news cycles. It should be noted that that is typical for the summer months in the region. Tensions do seem to flare up a bit. All right, guys, that's going to conclude this FPO. Just a quick side note, we are completely listener and viewer funded. If you are so inclined, please consider heading over to gutterfightingsecrets.com, pick up some of our great products, or make a small donation. Every single penny is appreciated, and it really is a win-win for both of us. All right, guys, please remember that you are your first and last line of defense, and I will see you on the next one. Cheers, guys.